Okay, we're talking with Christoph Sauser here in Schladming, Austria, the conclusion of the uh, 2008 World Cup. Christoph, uh, you finished the season strongly with a, with a win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the shape is coming together. The crash in Mount Sandan uh, was just too bad. It set me back and I just had a complete um, disabled feeling almost between the right and le left leg. I just had to start once training again and I used all the leg too much and it just it didn't feel balanced at all and now it's all coming together but that's too late. The Olympics were just uh, two weeks, three weeks uh, too early. Yeah, I, I remember that when you were there and uh, you and Nino were riding together and you came across the uh, line banging your handlebars. So uh, obviously it was a big disappointment. Did you use that to sort of prepare yourself mentally for this race? Yeah, I didn't know how the shape was basically. I had a good race last weekend in Bern and I, I just trained a little bit easy with my enduro bike, very steep climbs because I knew here it's going to be steep, <laughs> steep again and obviously it uh, definitely paid out. And uh, when I went on the rollers today, I just feel like, man, uh, yeah, let's let's do it. And just, you know, it's the last race, the last real race of the season. And uh, that's going to be, you take that all winter long and you, you know, you're still on top. Even, yeah, the results weren't that, that super yeah. the last uh, few weeks. Talk a little bit about the race. I mean, it came down to you and Jose. And then we could see, um, I guess, starting the last lap, it uh, looked like you attacked him just, just before the start. Yeah, already with a lap and a half to go, I made a bit of a gap on him on the top of the, of the steepest climb. But he came back again uh, through, the, through the town. And then I opened tier into, <clears throat> into the finish, that uh, downhill. I just was like, uh, when I was a skier, took every flip and pull with my shoulders and I made probably five, five, ten seconds and I just went sprinted through the whole tech zone, through the flat because I didn't want to have him on my wheel again for the uphills and then I just made seconds by second but really <laughs> very slowly, I was a bit faster than him and uh, then last, last half lap I knew I was going to make it. Yeah. It's been an up and down season for you. On the one hand, you won the world title, which you've been looking for for a long time. Um, in the marathon world, you were sprinting and had the uh, crash at Rule Paulison, and and the ruling was that they gave it to Rule. Then you, you get injured, but then you come back and win the World Cup final. Can you sort of sum up for you this season? Is it are you going to count this as a success or a bit of a disappointment? Yeah, it's really weird. I uh, I won the biggest race for me, the biggest I've ever won, but still I can't be happy at all or at all. I, not completely, because yeah, with the Olympics it was just two seconds of, of bronze medal. And also the marathon world champs, I mean, uh, I really want to have that double and I still think, uh, or it's, it's always, you know, that, that title just got put away, took away of me from the UCI. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of bittersweet feeling overall. Okay. Well, I mean, at least as, as you said, you can go into the, go into the fall now and remember um, winning this final race and hopefully motivate for uh, next season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's the second or third time I win the, the final of the season and that gives you a very good feeling and a good motivation again to train in the winter. I'm looking forward to do the Cactus Cup that's uh, and Rock this year. That's nice holiday racing, still keep in shape a bit, have some excitement. And uh, yeah, I'll also do some uh, holidays at Lake Tahoe after the interview. Good, well, thanks very much. You're welcome.